Hello, I'm Simple Tips, and today I'm going to show you how to create simple internet graphics. All you have to do is open Fireworks, create a new Fireworks PNG file. Now, the width needs to be from about 150 to 300, and then the height should be from 70 to 120, depending on how big you want your graphics to be. Now, make the background transparent, click OK. Right, today I'm going to show you how to create two barns. Uh, just to show you that you can do them with anything you want. So, I'm going to make the border black. I'm going to make them red with a gradient of contour. Now, I'm going to create a star button for those that are far fetched with their websites. And a simple rounded rectangle. Because I think the rounded rectangles are the nicest button. Now all you gotta do is right click on your image and convert it to symbol or press F8 and change it to button and OK. And click on the other one, F8 it and button, OK. Right now these are ready to be converted into interactive rollover buttons. So just double click on the green area like that. And now we've got our button control set there. Um, you need to copy it with like control C and then click off of it and then go to state down here. Change the state to over. And now you need to control V it, so paste. Now I'm going to take off the contour, make it blue, and add the gradient again. Now this should go from red to blue and I roll over it. Now I'm going to do exactly the same for the button. Um, so Control C, uh, click off, change the state to over. Control V, oh right, yep, yeah, that's why. Change that to solid blue. How could I forget that? I've recorded this video about three times now, so the software kept mucking up. So that we've got that. Now we can test this in preview, just like that. Or we can press F12 and it will open up in a in a net scenario, and as you can see, they're working. Now you can also do this with text. So if I had a um, a piece of text there, size 25, saying a uh, home, center it, Control C it, and then change the state again to over. And then control V it. And then you can create a button out of almost anything. Make it bold. There we go. Now again you can test it in preview. Or you can open it for F12. And as you can see the button is changing along with that. I've been simple tips and um we'll be creating another video on how to import them into Dreamweaver. Uh, thank you. Goodbye.